This time, it's with me and Lobster Cop. So I'm excited for this one. Let's just get right into it. Oh, I got new shoes. These boots were made for walking. Oh, look at those boots. The whole fit is immaculate. All right, see you later. I'm pretty sure Lobster Cop was supposed to be with me. Not sure where he is. All right, general overview of the case. Uh, uh Cowboy City, uh, they're missing their crab boy hats, and we gotta go find them. That's about it. All right. Also, like and subscribe. Cool. All right. Let's let's get on the scooter and let's head into town. Hopefully, it actually makes me be able to like go really fast. Hop on with left shift. Let's go. All right. Seems like it would make it easy to get around now. It's funny to see Super Hot presents. I love that. Super Hot has an eye out for talent. Have an eye out for vision. They know when they see a good game. Also, Dan Golding. God, he is a master composer. <laughs> There's some bangers in these games. Oh, I can use that as a ramp. I can totally use that as a ramp. Let's go. Here, drop the ball. <laughs> Did you really think I needed your help? No, me either. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. It's like, I already did it. Oh. Well. You know, the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. The new sheriff of Cowboy County. That fucking guy! Case 3. Mystery of the missing hats. Lobster cop. Yep, motive. There's no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. Knees, crime scene, criminal tool, key, and meal. I'm my best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. Okay. So, I need a map, a criminal tool, a key, and a meal. These guys remind me of, the, like, the nematodes from, uh, from Spongebob. Ooh, these could come in handy. Yeah, Sheriff. Those are evidence. Crime. No, no. Not. They're not evidence of crime yet. I don't know what that really means, but I'll take them. So I like this drawing a lot. No, I have a, I have a strange feeling that this man is the, uh, is the culprit. Now we'll start with the mouse. Oh, do you see that? That was a sick trick. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. That's me, ready to rip it, frog. It's time for us to paddle. This, this scooter barn. <laughs> no, but I loiter here every day. He just stalks himself. <laughs> Literally just met me. You know what? Oh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Honestly, I don't think she would need a motive. Just see how it's just a hunch, though. To write a resume and learn from some... Okay. Knows my full address. Yeah, I like that part. I guess I'll enter the saloon. His ass not playing the piano. What do you need? Uh, oh, so close to him. Oh, pistol. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint. Needs a muse. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for. Curse allegedly. Always giving your bank information. Yeah. Um, talk to you now. Seem like a bat? Maybe Bonnie? Yeah. What can I get for you? Practical joke, perhaps. Carrots and cactus flower for her stew. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing hats some sort. King Cowboy County historian hates creativity. Ooh, I like this one. What's on? It's the most haunted one. Okay. Wait, sorry, Ripley. You got a bus sheriff 80 years ago. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll just read them all real quick. That's how I doubt it. It's photo is visited for having the camera challenge the colors in the Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy fun though. And they're still alive, I sure hope so. Okay, the crocodile man. This one has to be haunted, right? 
old snappy fresh. He was about he was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's so old a creepo to have description I'm looking for. Yeah, well you're out of luck. Old Snappy Fresh is still alive, how could he be a ghost? He's still alive, how old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person. He's hundred thirty years old. That's how I learned how <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fair. And this one's probably haunted, right? Who, Mark? <laughs> I wish Mark was a ghost. It's my ex-husband. Oh, I see. Why did you get divorced? That's quite the question to ask. Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Okay, I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who this is, but I call him Mark. I think photos over 50 years old. Okay. I mean, it's probably this one with, like, all the... The tombstones, right? Maybe she's more than Jerry to get that. Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. Smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Oh! I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm, a little, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit nervous now. Oh. You know. <laughs> you know, that sound effect caught me off guard. Now, this one's haunted as shit, right? I mean, there was like a koala up here, I think. There's more boots. Okay. Let's see. All right. Can give the writing supplies to that, uh, to that mouse, that mouse, a mouse person. Uh, so I should probably go look for all of the, uh, cactus fruit. Because I can get the cactus fruits and, um, and then after that, go to the store, get the carrots, go back to, uh, Bonnie so she can make the stew. We still have a lot of people to talk to, but, uh, I know where I can go to at the very least. Because I need to get four, they said. And no, for a fact, there's one right here. Got the gloves to get the cactus flower. This one right here. Got a cactus flower. I wish I had a cowboy hat right now. I only have a sombrero. I still think it's funny that there was a point in my life where uh, I regularly wore a sombrero. Like back when I was in marching band, um, you know, we we would usually be out in like the hot sun. So, you know, you would wear a hat, but I don't want to wear like a regular hat. For some reason, I had several sombreros. I have no idea where they came from, but I had them. So I was like, I'll just wear this. And uh, it was actually incredible. And I ended up giving a bunch of people different, bunch of different people sombreros because they were just like, you know, they were good at what they do, keeping out the sun when you're working out in it. It's great. Wendy. Motive. Steal the hats, sell them back to town. Perfect crime. No, it's... Some months in the biz rehearse for a formally a professional one. Eh. I'll put them as a suspect. I need some carrots. Uh give you some carrots and give you some flowers. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Yeah, thank you. Talk to him. Give bear pick. There we go. I get the portrait, go back to Wendy, give Wendy the portrait, then I can give the uh, mouse the writing supplies. Dude, no way. They got another small enemy spider. Hello. Uh, take this ladder. Ooh, a ladder. Okay. And the ladder was for the well. So we can get something from the well. But uh, I should probably, like... Let's, let's get the writing set first. Not sure if I, that was necessary, but... Uh, and, like, one more check mark down in my book, so... It's pretty good. My brain is poisoned. I've read that as sussy. Just leave me alone. 
All right. Well, is that like a? Oh, I don't know why, but I thought that was like—is that a wheel for a pirate ship or something? I've been watching too much One Piece. Craig. Motive: One membership to Secret Hat Ceiling Society. Definitive proof of a ghost. Gave that to him. Notes: Either a conspiracy theorist who knows way more about me, or knows way more about the world than me, does not buy my detective disguise. Trat just wants to be part of something. Don't we all, brother? Don't we all? Hello, sloth man. Sherman. Motive. Uh, don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention to those eyes. He didn't really have... Yeah. I mean, if it is him, it would be very surprising. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. Hey, man. I mean, like, it has to be him, right? Like, <laughs> Motive wants to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. It does seem that. Notes. A fellow, a few words. Previous job helped out. Mark him down as suspicious. Holy shit, you see that? Alright, let's use the ladder. Some bats down here, it sounds like. <gasps> the key. Excuse me, let's use a rabbit. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Rhonda Dynamite again. And we'll get the, uh, we'll get a fake ID for us all Susie here. Or sussy if you prefer. <laughs> Maybe she misplaced the hat, I don't know. Needs fake ID, yikes. So sh short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. Hello, I need a, I need a favor. I just need a quick favor. Alright, hold on, anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thank you so much. Got a fake ID. All right, I feel like we're about to crack this mystery wide open. I have a fake ID for you. Okay, got the map. Let's go talk to the lobster cop. It should should be everything we need. Got my eye on you, man. Lobster cop. I think I have everything now. Uh, I think so. A map of the crime scene that looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we will have to wait and see. So, okay. In criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. Yeah, a key that will lead us. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. If it's buried in the graveyard, a shovel would be, uh. Would, uh, work. A meal. Let's stew. I mean, I wouldn't. In this weather, I wouldn't be a big fan of stew, but. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna take, you can take all that. Take that stew, brother. You've earned it. Okay. I don't want to believe it, but maybe, maybe the mole and lobster cop might be uh, might have something in cahoots with each other. I know it sounds crazy, maybe even slanderous, but. You never know. Stranger things have happened on these investigations. I think. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. Yeah. If these are the hats, then that's good, but we still don't have a who. We don't have a who did the crime. I'll take them back to town. A lobster cop. I found the hats. Huh. The music stopped playing. A little stressed out now. Here comes detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. All right. <laughs> Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. <clears throat> a saw cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. 
He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off because he was bored. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover nothing there, just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Well, that was like Avatar Last Airbender poetry episode levels. Erupts in applause. Dude, I'm freaking the fuck out. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. Oh. I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust that I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quite pleased, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It is with great sadness I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat slinging monster of the Cabo County, is none other than the second best investigator. <laughs> they framed me! They're framing me! What evidence? This. No. Why do I look so angry? I don't even have eyebrows. A motive? You've come into town to pride yourself on hats. It's... Oh, I can't wear hats, can I? Because of your weird shaped head. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. But, but I have them. I have the hats. I haven't seen a crime like this before. What is the idea? Bad room. <laughs> I don't like that. We put fraud detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No, it wasn't me, I promise. He already made it. Oh no. If <laughs> one year of the bad room. No. It can't be true. Say it ain't so. I will not go. No. I just got the Steve achievement bad room. No. It can't be. Hey, there's a computer in there though. No, I've been locked up. Is that the end? This can't be the end. It can't end like this. To my loyal frog blog readers. I've been framed. It's, it's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I'm innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my vlog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I helped to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and returned to being as good a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me. My hope is that all... It is all just one big misunderstanding, as in the case with the most of the mysteries I'm involved in. <laughs> it would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog post. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. Come on, somebody has to bat for me. <gasps> Mystery monkey! Holy shit! The supervisor, can I help you? 
Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. I know it's a big ass, but do you mind if I snoop around in the in front detective's office to look for clues? That is a pretty big ask. I'm Mystery Monkey. I get to be him. I shouldn't. S hmm. Not yet. Might find something else in here. Hmm, a jar of Vaseline. Now, clue detecting powder. Not the same thing. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around. <laughs> yeah, let's just throw this powder around. <gasps> Handprint. It's footsteps. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Going to Lobster's room? Larry the Lobster? It can't be. It couldn't be. <laughs> Chapped lips, though. <laughs> okay. Footprints. Going behind the desk. And a handprint. Photocopy of Frog Detective's notebook, but that's private. <gasps> Lops caught Mason Moore. <gasps> Is that a love letter? It reads. <clears throat> Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail a detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. Bro, I saw you every single time. <laughs> I fear that your suspicions are correct, that the frog detective is on the right track on overtaking your position as number one best detective. This lobster's a rat! If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So obtain the detective's notebook and set her some great ins insight on how the detective works through a case... Maybe you can read and learn, but it may not be enough. As a detective gets better and better, your position at number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice, but if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. No. The lobster's a rat. It can't be true. Come on. Mystery monkey. Go tell the supervisor, please. Oh, he brought the supervisor. Let's go. Frog, we're here. Mystery monkey. Supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in the bad room, or that anyone would want to visit me. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. Oh, they, they, they did take me out. I have some news about the hat ceiling case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? What are you doing here? Give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Yeah. Important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> huh? What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. It really wasn't that secret. You could uh, you could see it pretty clearly. You can't just go through all my office. That's a crime. Idiot. Crimes don't exist. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found that letter that Mason Moore wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my scheme on paper. Sheriff Mason Moore has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone was sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. <laughs> in any case, I contacted my friend at Carlos who runs this. He knows Carlos! He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No way. Say it ain't so, Lobster Cop. <laughs> no. 
Lobster cup. No. No. Elise, in the end, lobster cop he has some dignity. He can he can admit that he's wrong. I will read your blogs and s go with go with. I was in, I've been the number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? Plopster cop. Your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to. But then I, I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mo was there for me. Having friend is so important. But we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested Lobster Cop that I help take you down and the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were and buried it for the detective to find. But it didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Car had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait. Yeah, what was his alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. But that was after the hats would have been... I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But I don't understand what, why did you have to put me in the bad room? Framing was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. My clients agree. Putting somebody in a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. Is this just like a? Is this just an entire commentary of like the American prison system? <laughs> how am I supposed to? How is, <laughs> it is? It literally is. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry, dude. Mason Mole, he's just the government spying on me and all my cases. Created the bad room, framed me, put me in the bad room. He's just the government, and Lobster Cop is society. Society is filled with jealousy and anger. It all makes sense now. It's all an allegory. It's all an allegory on society. <laughs> it's terrible. I realize it's not my bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole. You have something. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society does not does not have strategies to, in place to deal with things like that. Are you going to send us to the bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Crop, you have abused your powers in ways that I can't even begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I am mad at you both. You deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Crop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, he has a gun? <laughs> I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave lobs. He gave lobs. He is the government. He gave him the gun. <laughs> the government gave society guns. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea what you could do as a job. Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? You know what? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. It really does not have a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not yet. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty and Posty Mason Mole. Do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I do not expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as... A great postie and some of the wrongs and I can't fucking read and write some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have I shouldn't have. That was I don't know, I just said that weird. 
I'm going to channel that energy into being a posty, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Posties just sounds really weird. I don't know what it is about it. It just sounds bad somehow. <laughs> Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Welp. Thanks to the help of Mystery Monkey. Yeah. After some imbecile detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce a new... Oh, uh, some... Uh, uh, peck no. Please, don't make Mystery Monkey. No! <laughs> you know what? Mystery Monkey? You deserve it. You deserve it. You know what, Mr. I'll give that to you. I'll, you. You can have that one. You you can have that one. I'm okay with it. I'll just shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next to the world's to the <laughs> number one detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prepare the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posting and posting Mason Mole? Yeah, you're invited too. Alright. <laughs> no, dude. I mean, it's okay, I guess. They brought back the killer ab guy! Two weeks later. Oh, another phone call. Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency, Fraud Detective speaking. How may, I, how may I solve your mystery? Hey, Fraud Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy bur Oh, it's my birthday? It's my birthday. Let's go. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're the number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course. I'll, I'd help out Mystery Monkey any day. Hey, what's up, man? Wait, how do you get all these pictures, bro? Oh. <laughs> I I just noticed he just taped his face on the on his on the things. I was like, "Bro, what did he do in those 2 weeks?" Yeah, the case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. All right. Head down the hallway. But isn't this like the exit to the building? It's a birthday party! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has been has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island, I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! It's not all, Detective. We got you a present. <gasps> got me a present? Special birthday delivery. There they are. Is that for me? Open. Oh. Well, what could it be? <gasps> no fucking way. I got a fucking hat? It's a hat. I can't wear hats. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits my weird head. Oh, the tear. <laughs> He's so happy, man. Yay. Woo! Yay! It's a great story, even if it is silly. Well, this was a, a beautiful story. I'm glad, um, I'm glad I got to experience it. I hope you guys were glad watching it. The end.